please consider the following. Across the way. It says kills and captures, not deaths. Oh yeah, I think it's supposed to encourage like not playing like a fucking scumbag. It's just like hiding right. the back of the map. Oh, I'm gonna right. leave. I fucking hate this. I slept in the corpse of water buffalo. <laughs> you big head wankers. You prince and show ponies. Do they hate them shirts for men? You bloody. <laughs> You're all a bunch of now helpers. All your heads look. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Yeah, that's right. Yo, did you even see me hitting you? Hey, knucklehead, you ain't gonna win. It's starting to bore me how much you suck. <laughs> Look at you! Yo, I need help capping. Yo, a little help here? Uh, a little help? Pop quiz. What are these two teammates doing currently? Does it seem like anything useful? Call of Duty is the most primal. Carnal, frat dutious, rootin' shootin' tootinest FPS game ever been made. And if I guess we're talking about the shooter game genre in general, maybe Gears of War just just barely edges it out. But come on, w which game do you think got more sales? This one or Gears 5? And the one thing that I remember playing COD as a young warthog was if you called someone a camper, that was like the the, the fucking pinnacle. That was the, the top tier insult that you could level at somebody. If you called somebody a camper, you probably would have gotten a voicemail in your Xbox Live messages, something along the lines of, You fucking shooter, you fucking suck at this game, you fucking stupid kid. How would you talk to me when your balls are dropped? And I know it's getting to be a broken record, but dude, there's so many fucking campers in this game. Let's be real, it's COD. Much there's always been today. campers. But have there been this many campers? What's the deal with camping? Back in the day, people talked about COD and camping like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It was just part of the game. Birds fly, sun shines, grass grows, and COD players talk smack. Bro, you're a f***ing- Introducing COD babies to other real first-person shooters was kind of a badge of honor for some people, especially Battlefield players. Now, I wish more people took their advice. Know your role. I'm a sniper, I'm a sniper, I'm a sniper. No, you're not a sniper. Don't be a pussy, but don't waste tickets either. Nuance? You mean I have to do something in between these two extremes? What? In Modern Warfare, you can be a pussy and get away with it. Chances are that someone on your team will get hot and order up a tactical nuke, meaning that you win and you got to eat a bowl of Lucky Charms. I guess everybody in the new Modern Warfare is waiting on someone to get hot and order up a tactical nuke so they can eat a bowl of Lucky Charms. Not a lot of people are dropping nukes. In fact, I haven't seen one. And as a matter of fact, I think a lot of these guys aren't doing it for the win. I think they're doing it to pad their stats. And as long as people consider their KD and COD more important than their win-loss, which is something that I've carried over from Siege, that is, the win-loss being more important. I don't think that any Claymore nerfs, any shotgun nerfs, any ADS time, any T to K nerfs, none of that is going to change the mentality of people who play this game. If the enemy team is doing nothing but camp, here's how I deal with them. Pick a gun with really fast handling, that is, fast ADS and good hip fire spread. That'll allow you to react as fast as humanly possible in case a bad guy gets the drop on you. Modern Warfare is probably an AR meta COD, but we're not playing competitively. So in order to deal with campers at close range, you can hip fire them, and then for every other gunfight, just hold down the mouse button and track your target. You'll lose a gunfight or two at long range, sorry about that. Playing hard and fast will often beat out a camper's reaction speed. Kind of like how I get gunned by XX Waffle Iron 69 dot dash while I'm playing Anchor in Rainbow Six Siege. Unless you're playing search and destroy or cyber attack, the penalty of tanking an L in a gunfight is significantly lower, so just send it. I significantly prefer satchel charges over frag grenades for these reasons. See ya! See ya! Set and charge. Run spotter to avoid the claymores. 
Sometimes you'll run into them anyway, because they'll be put in stupid places. It is what it is. Don't get discouraged. This match in particular was filled with L's, just like that one. Including, but not limited to... Did I mention the score looked like this? I'm still gonna send it. Fits with slap chop. Ah, uh, boom. The fuck? Hi. Reload. Smoke. Show me a move. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Double kill. Triple kill. You're gonna be in a great mood all day because you're gonna be slapping your troubles away with a slap shot. I spy this man to lie! Reload! Defend the freaking point! Uh, it's worthless. Forget about boom. it. Now, take the slap shot. Go ahead and cry, baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I didn't have anything colorful to say here. I mean, the proof is right here. I'm not exactly the least angry guy on Twitch. I literally can't WASD. I'm trying. But moments like that in gaming are probably the most satisfying. Call of Duty is one of those games where if you go hot on your own, you can turn the game around, and I kind of like that as opposed to solo queuing and siege, which I'm probably never going to do again. So moral of the story is, if you run into campers and COD, just bring your pieces. I had my pieces. Your, your pieces? My gun. Oh. Hi. Anyway, I started blasting. Bam! Wow. Good luck out there. Deuces.